In the disputed region of Western Tigray, local officials led VOA into the hills close to the town of Adi Ramit. They claimed this was the site of a concentration camp run by the Tigray People's Liberation Front, or the TPLF, in the late 80s and early 90s. One witness says he was held in this cave, along with many other Amharas, the TPLF persecuted because of their ethnicity decades ago. I have known this place since the 80s. I was arrested here for a year and seven months with my friend. We stayed here in the cave during daylight hours to avoid a raid. The history of Western Tigray, or Well Kayet, as the Amhara regional government refers to it, is complex. Amhara forces wrestled control of Western Tigray from the TPLF during the current conflict that began in November 2020, claiming the TPLF wrongly annexed the region in the early 90s and that, historically, the region has always belonged to them. They urged the government to make it a legal part of Amhara. As peace talks to put an end to Ethiopia's nearly two-year civil war look more likely, both the Amhara and Tigray regional leaderships say the region must be put under their control. Analysts say it will play a crucial role in negotiations. This is what we describe as a zero-sum dispute um, at Crisis Group, and, and this is why it's such a hard problem to resolve. I think we, we can all come up with sort of potential compromise solutions, um, joint administration, uh, local autonomy, federal administration. But simply getting to the stage where that sort of um, compromise political arrangement is accepted um, by the two regions um, is hard to conceive of at the moment. Experts say any historical claim by the Amhara is irrelevant since Ethiopia's constitution states Western Tigray is part of the Tigray region. The Ethiopian constitution doesn't allow for that historical claim. Yeah, because this is this is endless. Because you you change. If, I've seen these maps through time. Every fifty years, these borders were changing. Yeah. So, what historical claim are you going to to look at? What are you going to, to consider? Researchers from the University of Gonda are seen here pulling bones out of the ground they claim belong to prisoners killed at the camp during TPLF rule. Many ethnic Amharas, they say, believe such alleged evidence of past atrocities show why the region should be under their control. But the Amhara region-based university's research into the graves has been criticised by experts. Critics say the federal government has used the graves as propaganda and question the timing of old graves, coinciding with new allegations of ethnic cleansing committed against Tigrayans during the current war. Independent researchers have not been given access to these sites. Asked if the university uses forensic techniques to piece together what happened at the grave sites, a former researcher now working at a non-profit documenting abuse against ethnic Amharas said... I'm hopeful that this will happen uh, in the future, but at this point, it's just mapping the, the mass graves where they're located. Since the Amhara occupied Western Tigray in early 2021, rights groups such as Human Rights Watch and Amnesty say Tigrayans are being attacked and forcibly removed from the region. A TPLF spokesperson declined to comment on how the fate of Western Tigray could factor into peace talks. Henry Wilkins for VOA News, Adi Ramitz, Ethiopia.